It's the shock absorber of your knee joint. Cartilage is a firm, rubbery material that covers the ends of bones in the knee. When articular cartilage is damaged, it causes significant pain. Up to now, doctors had few options. The articular cartilage doesn't really grow at all. So the number of cells that you're born with is the number of cells you'll have unless you lose some. And people do. The result of arthritis, injury, or repetitive use. Those without arthritis and an otherwise healthy knee may be candidates for a cartilage replacement. Most of the people that I do this on are younger people who are injured in sports. Someone who tears a ligament and knocks a chunk of cartilage off the end of the bone. Here's how it works. Doctors remove a small segment of cartilage and bone from a non-weight-bearing, non-contact area, then transplant it to the damaged area. You'll actually oversize the donor site so that you force that bone and cartilage to fit in, plug it in. Underneath that articular cartilage is bone, and that bone will actually grow in and become a solid part of the substrate. Timing is everything in this procedure. If damaged cartilage is not treated, it can get worse and eventually require more drastic knee replacement surgery. If we can take some precautions early on and treat things earlier, then we slow down the progression of the damage. Patients who undergo this procedure can expect to stay off the leg for about six weeks while the cartilage infiltrates its new home. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.